Hi guys, so today's video is going to be my first video in my clown series or clown week on my YouTube channel. Um, I like clowns, I like scary clowns or jesters or whatever. Um, it's kind of something that I've always liked. I'm not a juggalo or juggalette, whatever the hell that has to do with it, but um, I'm not. I just happen to really like clown makeup and scary clown makeup and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so this is just going to be me kind of messing around, showing you guys like really simple, uh, fairly simple, fairly easy techniques to make like different sort of clowns depending on what you want to do. Um, all going to be kind of the same basic idea, but still just a way for me to be creative. So if you guys like clowns, then you want to know how to do it, then just stay tuned. If you don't like clowns, I'm sorry. Um, I know a lot of people are terrified by clowns. I have personal friends who would kill me if I showed up at their door like this. Um, but yeah, so if you guys want to know how to do it though, then you can just stay tuned and here's the tutorial. Okay, so to start off this, um, I just went ahead and took this is um, Milk Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil. I realized very quickly that this will save me a lot of money. Um, mostly because I have the white in the Makeup Forever Flash Palette, but I'm running out. And those things cost like 100 bucks. So <laughs> I'm not going to go buy another one. Um, so I actually realized that Milk Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil kind of does the same as um, like a white kind of cream face paint does. So I'm just going to use this, and these are really cheap, so whatevs. So basically all I did was I went and just kind of did this to my face, just because I wanted it to be sort of patchy, and then I literally just took this and kind of rubbed it in. If you're not com comfortable using this, then you can use like the white cream makeup that um, comes around, like, around Halloween. I've seen it out already. And you can use that. I just want a sort of like really blotchy kind of look. Because I always think the clowns that are sort of undone and grimy look really more, I don't know, more scary to me. So yeah, so you can just go ahead and do that to whatever extent that you want and then what I did is I went in with the black this is um, this is milk jumbo I don't know if I said it was milk this one is black bean this is just the black equivalent and then this is when I went in and did um, my eyes and you don't want to get this right in your eye but um, Yeah, so this is when I just kind of went in and made it kind of grungy and gross and shit. Like, it's actually so easy to do, like, nasty kind of looking um, clowns and stuff like that, that it's kind of sad. Like, um, it's, it'd be super easy to do, um, try to get a clean finger. I'm just going to kind of talk while I do this because there's really no like real rhyme or reason. Just make it look wherever you want it to look basically. Um, but it'd be super easy to do like a bunch of friends like this and make like a low budget uh, horror movie. Or if you're doing like a haunted house kind of thing to make up a bunch of people like this. It's like super next level easy. Then you can just kind of mess around with that to get it to like how you want it. I'm kind of leaving mine sort of haphazardly. Um, yeah. So the next thing I did is I added a little bit of green just because it kind of matches my hair and then it sort of adds in and something that makes it a little bit um, interesting. So I just took makeup for, uh, not makeup for, uh, sugar pill, some greens from that and kind of just worked it into. Like where the con my contour, I guess, sort of would be, and then to go around the top of my face, kind of adds a little bit more of like a sickness to it. I don't know. I did it because I wanted to. Okay. Okay. And then once that's done, then the next thing I'm gonna do is to just do 
the nose. And for that, I'm using um, red lipstick. Because a very simple way to save on using red cream products. And this is just going to get, again, kind of like messily put like that. And I kind of want to dirty it up just a little bit. So I'm going to use um, the same black. Just to make it a little bit more grungy. I don't know why grungy is just the automatic word I go to. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, and then for lips, I think I'm just going to do black again. So I'm just going to sharpen this um, jumbo pencil. Which, by the way, most like big eyeshadow things, it fits in to sharpen these, but I know like NYX makes a special one, but mine kind of fits in like a big one, so. And then this, I'm not sure what I want to do with this. medium why so serious moment right here <laughs> and then I think I'm just gonna take a little bit of green and dust that around the mouth area a little bit and yeah that's kind of my finished sort of random scary kind of clown thing um, so yeah, that's one option that you can do for a clown and for my next videos I'm gonna just do sort of other options for scary ass clowns. So yeah, very easy, very simple, legit like things that you can find um, Pretty cheaply. I think these are around like what three bucks a piece Nick Jumbo eyeshadow pencils um, If you a lot of people already have these in their collection, so use these and red lipstick for the nose and just some simple sort of green eyeshadow now i do have green hair it kind of adds to it but that's obviously optional you can get like wigs and do whatever you want to do um yeah so that kind of finishes up my first clown in my clown week here on my channel so if you guys want to learn about more clowns then yeah you can go ahead and stay tuned <laughs>